All right, so in this one, I'm going to talk about like how we can use a web driver manager to manage the dependencies, right? So in the pre previous video, we have seen like how we have to, <clears throat> in the previous video, we have seen like we have to pass in this uh, Chrome driver executable or like if you're working with Chrome driver or repo driver, if you're working with Firefox driver, right? But, <clears throat> but using this web driver manager, so using a web driver manager, we can avoid these manual steps because right now these are the manual steps. We are going to all these uh, Chrome driver, the chromium.com. So we are manually downloading all these. Uh, so right now these are the manual steps. We are manually downloading Chrome driver dot executables or the Gigo driver executables in order to work with the uh, uh, Firefox or Chrome driver, right? So these are the manual steps right now involved. But uh, there is a better way of doing this, right? So we have a uh, web driver manager which comes to rescue, which actually provides us option to download these uh, uh, these executable files, right? Directly from the web, and uh, it will be uh, doing all these steps on its own. We do not have to manually uh, intervene in between in order to download this, right? So what you can do is right. So firstly, we we can so firstly we can remove all this step, right? We don't need this step because so this is the hard coding stuff, and this is the manual step, which is uh written on line number eight, right? And so we can skip this step. Then instead, what we can do is right before, and then we can skip this step. What we can do is let me go to the Chrome driver. So what we can do is uh, let me go to let me go to browser and search for let me and what we can do is uh, let me go to the browser and go to the Maven Central repository and search for web driver manager right and once we do that uh, and go to this web driver manager right. Uh, this is like uh, automated driver management and other help uh, features for selling web driver in Java, right? So when I click on this web driver manager link, what happens is like it will be showing up uh, all these various versions of releases for web driver manager, right? So let me try to select the first one, right? And uh, let me copy this uh, dependency, right? We have already seen how we work with the dependencies. And let me go to the firm.xml file, which is present here, right? And let me paste it over here. And once I control, once I save this, this will automatically download the web driver manager dependencies and jars, and uh, also it will build the solution, right? So if I go to this Maven dependencies, you'll be seeing some web driver manager as well. So yes, at the bottom you can see like web driver manager 5.3.d. 5.3.2 has been downloaded right now you can see over here it has been downloaded so same uh, we have uh, passed in the form.xml file so same executable file has been same jar file has been downloaded so let me close this one right and uh, come back to the let me come back to the form.xml file so this is like web driver manager which has been done which has been um like uh, created by the person named it's Bonnie Gritia, right? And uh, what we will do is let me go to the Chrome browser. It's has been created by Bonnie Gracia. And let me go once again back to the Chrome browser, right? And uh, show you something, right? The documentation of uh, this form, documentation of uh, this web driver manager. And uh, let me scroll down a bit. All right, let me open a new tab and search for web driver manager. Once you go to the first link over here, so this is the GitHub page for a web driver manager where we have all the information regarding this web driver manager. So, web driver is nothing but uh, it's an open source Java library that carries out an open source Java library that carries out the management like. Uh, Download setup and maintenance of the drivers required by selling web driver. From, for example, the phone driver, Gigo driver, MS Edge driver, etc. In a fully automated manner, right? 
So in addition, WebDriver Manager provides the other relevant features such as the capability to discover browser installed in the local system, building web driver objects such as Chrome driver, Firefox driver, Edge driver, etc., and running Chrome browsers in Docker containers similarly. Documentation. So these are the various documentation we have for web driver manager, right? If I go below here, then under this uh, driver manager, so you'll be seeing like the primary views of primary in the primary use of your driver manager with automation of driver management because right now what we are doing is we are manually downloading these uh, executable files and we are placing inside our selenium automation project right but to, to avoid these steps uh, these are the manual steps so not recommended at all since we are working on the automation part so our focus should be towards uh, automation and the inclination mm. so the inclination towards mm. the automation so what we can do is like we can make use of uh, this web driver manager and let's try to understand how we can use this uh, web driver manager right so we have some format over here if i take you to this uh, link and show you like what all data we have here so previously this was the approach uh, we used to follow right so which is like uh, the old approach and right now what we are doing in the, inside the setup what we have to do is like we have to basically download the dependency for this uh, uh, web driver manager and like this uh, it will be coming up right and uh, if i scroll down i'll show you like uh, how it works actually yes so this is the web driver manager right so these are the various uh, you can see the commands and uh, you have to line all the you have to write all these lines of code if you are working with the chrome uh, browser then you have to pass in this uh, first line of code or uh, if you are working with firefox then you have to pass in this uh, second line of code if you are working with edge driver then you have to pass this one and if you are working with the uh, driver this is the line of statement of code if you are working with chromium driver this is the line of code i think this is uh, for i driver so like this they have provided all these uh, options right whichever browser you are working right now so you can do the setup with these line of code right but before writing this you have to ensure like uh, you are already putting this new uh, driver manager dependency in the form.xml if you're not putting it then you'll be getting error right so that is a precondition and let me scroll down a bit i think we are good to go so let's go back to the eclipse right so in the Eclipse, I have already added this dependency for the driver manager, which is like 5.3.2, and it has been already added inside this Maven dependency section. Let me scroll down to the top. Let me scroll down, right, and show you like this is where driver manager. And uh, if I just uh, collapse this one, right, and if I go to this uh, Chrome browser test, and right now we have uh, used the old approach in which like we are passing the executable file inside the project and we are mapping inside this uh, system.set property, right? And then we are launching Chrome Browser. But after we add this uh, web driver manager in the form.xml, so we can avoid all these steps. Right now, what we'll do is like, we'll just comment out this portion, right? And just comment out this one. And uh, instead of this, right, I'll just copy the lines that was mentioned inside this web driver manager website, right? So right now we are working with the Chrome browser. So we have to use the first option, right? So let me try to copy this and paste it here. And uh, while we are getting here, here is right now it is asking you to um, import this. Right now it is asking us to import web driver manager. So let me quickly import this and save this one. Let's control this from the keyboard. And uh, once you do that, error um, errors are gone. Yes, and those are gone now. And what we can do is right click and run as Java application. So it has started launching Chrome browser. Now it is navigated to google.com and now it will print the title of this page. So which is Google. All right, so I think this is working fine. Now we don't need these beautiful files, right? This is working fine. So let's try to replicate the same steps in terms of like Firefox browser as well quickly. And in order to do that, let me first comment out this line and go to this uh, 
browser and go to this uh, website right firefox and let me try to make a minor change over here let me paste the code code that we copied there and let me import this one and right click and run as java application so i think it started launching now there is yes so you can see that uh, firefox browser has been already launched and now it will navigate to google.com yes it did navigate to the google.com and now it will delete item all right so it is done so let me close this console window so in this video we have seen you know, like uh, how we can uh, how we can reduce the manual effort here which was like to download this chrome driver that hp reboots and uh, this is not the one-time activity guys so whenever there is some update on the browser right we keep on getting all these updates uh every now and then right so and uh every now and then we keep on getting all these updates so in that scenario we have to always download these uh, executable files from the web and we have to pass in uh, inside the project and we have to pass location as well if it is not uh, dynamic right so we have to ensure like we are passing the location as well and uh, also these executable should be updated regularly so that is a uh, kind of overhead for the automation team so what we can do here is to reduce the effort here so we can make use of uh, this web driver manager right also there is one major problem there so the major problem is like let's say if you are working with multiple people inside a team then it becomes really difficult to manage this right that somebody might be working on the older version of Chrome, somebody else might be working on the version 10, right? So if there are five developers, they are working on five different version and uh, it is very difficult to manage. So if the web driver manager provides a solution to this, right? So whenever we have this form.xml, we will be passing the latest uh, version of uh, web driver manager inside the form.xml file and when when they download when other person check out the code next day in the morning so they will be having the latest form driver executable on their system and it will be executing without any problem so this is the perfect solution for maintaining the web driver i mean the chrome driver executable on the automation project and, and there is no manual effort required here so this will be always picking up the latest uh, uh, latest uh, browser version executable and it will be running it smoothly and seamlessly without any issue so that's all in this video thanks for watching